So the next one is Kules, whatever you, however you say that. And does it work? No, it doesn't work. So let's try the one without the FPU. And this game, I've no idea if it's working or if it isn't. Let's just maybe reset the machine and let's try that again. And I don't have an FPU on this setup. <laughs> And I've no idea how to play this game because it's a weird game and it's a bit like E-Motion and all those other weird games that you've seen on the Amiga and it's very easy to die when you don't know and you don't have a clue what you're supposed to be doing. See the bottom of that screen is also missing and it also selects its own screen resolution so I don't know why it did that but it works that's all we need to know so let's quit and let's move on to our next game which also doesn't work that's Cobalt Deluxe and this worked the very first time I installed this game and it just ran and let's just increase the stack size in case that's the problem which it wasn't well let's just increase it anyway and this thing ran straight out of the box first time no problem but now it won't work at all it just crashes and comes up with an error so unfortunately I can't play Co Corbo Deluxe you can see some amazing colors on that screen and that's a space shooting game and that's very fun actually, very fun game and it's a bit too easy on easy mode so it's a shame that we didn't get to play that and so I didn't manage to get that ruined on any of my setups but that's that game so let's move on to Planet Strike and it gives us some options let's select a low resolution for this well let's select the highest resolution and let's see what that does Planet Strike is yet another Doom clone that came out on the PC and if you select low resolution then all of these graphics will be full screen but I made the mistake of going one higher so we get one lower screen resolution in a higher screen mode so you can see this game it doesn't have any music again because I didn't install a Toccato card but it does have sound effects. find the detonator I've no idea what I'm supposed to be doing this is the very first time I've played this game the very first time I've seen it as you can tell by me wandering around at the moment so what I'm supposed to do I've no idea let's start shooting things and according to the map there's supposed to be an exit on this wall about halfway down and I can't seem to find it it just says find the detonator that's a tel that's a teleport lift and maybe by moving the cursor keys we could choose different decks unfortunately the teleport isn't working and only the current deck is actually working so all of these are disabled at the moment as far as i know maybe i missed one once i was rushing through this trying to find what i'm supposed to be doing but the main place is enabled so let's return back there and this is another Doom clone so if you like Doom games and puzzlers I've no idea what to do but maybe this kind of game is for you. <laughs>
this is actually more like a Wolfenstein clone and this looking at the graphics is one of those early 90s games which tried to push the frontier and it's moving very quickly on my setup and again if these things run too quickly you can always turn down the power of the emulation and this thing's struggling actually to play all of those sound effects and so that's a sound driver problem probably because I haven't put a sound card in it and sound cards would come in handy seeing as it's trying to emulate a rolling sound card and that kind of thing at the moment so you can see it is possible to progress in this game and have some fun with it and I found a cube going around in a circle so it still says find the detonator, I've no idea what it means but I think that's my cue to quit. So that's another game, Planet Strike. And the next one, you won't believe I'm actually going to play this, Shadow Warrior. <laughs> you no mess with Lo Wang. You are tiny grasshopper! Brother. Your sins as regards Lo Wang. <laughs> you no mess with Lo Wang! <laughs> yes, Shadow Warrior is another one of those Doom games, only it's a bit more crafted in the high resolution department. You can see I've hiked the graphics up on this just a bit because it was moving very quickly. still moves around incredibly quickly and maybe the graphics could have done with another hike but you can see in this particular spot it opens up some doom mechanics where we have to jump on a box and then jump on another box to get a key and I happen to know there's a secret room here if we stand on the edge of this box and jump through here we also find a mirror there and also an Uzi. Zilla sins as regards Lo Wang. <laughs> you no mess with Lo Wang. At the start of this game, we aren't armed with much, we just have a samurai sword and also we can throw a few shurikens as well. Zula sins as regards Lo Wang. <laughs> you no mess with Lo Wang. So if you like Shinobi, this is better than Shinobi because it's a 3D game. It's like the James Bond games where you get to run around killing stuff and I've just found, well, some flash bombs, it looks like. And it looks like my sword's disappeared. Oh no, my sword! So we've lost it, but what we have got is a gold key. So let's get the sword back out again, and let's find where we're supposed to use that. And we're supposed to use that here, but we're also not going to have to line up with a keyhole, otherwise it's not going to work. And yes, we can fire guns, I think, in this game, but even though we've picked up loads of clips, I'm not sure if we can even duck and get through this secret, but you can see that we are a ninja, and this is a high-paced, fast-action ninja game, and this really does, well, it's really hard, even on the easiest level, you can see we're full of blood at the moment. So let's just run, run, run through this level just to show you what it looks like. 
and show you how I die. And that reminds me of the James Bond games, the ones which appeared on the PS2 where you get to go through buildings and kill things, so that is a menace, that Shadow Warrior. So, oh Doom X, this is another one, this is Doom 2. Let's see what this looks like. It's supposed to be a Doom 2 hack, but it, for, well, it looks like to me that it's just a higher res version of Doom 2. So we've seen Doom 2 playing before, and this is a higher resolution version of it, and you can see that the minimized options on the very bottom of the screen it shows us our health in higher resolution 100% and it also shows us our ammo so that's Doom 2 playing in a higher resolution and it still moves around pretty quickly it still turns around pretty quickly as you can see and this thing really does shift even with its higher resolution graphics Unfortunately, many of these Doom games play the sound very quietly, and yet again, that could be because I haven't set a sound card up in this configuration. But that's Doom 2, yet another version of Doom 2 running on our Amiga and it runs fast and smooth and we're going to have to make a run at this jump if we want to get through it. And yes it is possible to run in this game just by dragging that mouse forward and so playing this thing on the mouse is fun and it's always fun play Doom 2. So that's Odomex, yet another one of these Doom clones and we're really moving through them now so this is Strife and I can't remember off the top of my head what Strife is so let's just run it and let's find 640 times 480 that loo. The comet struck our planet without warning. We lost our paradise in a single violent stroke. The impact released a virus which swept through the land and killed millions. They turned out to be the lucky ones. For those that did not die became mutations of humanity. Some became fanatics who heard the voice of a malignant god in their head. So here we are at the beginning of Strife, and this is another high resolution Doom clone, but this is very different because you don't get any weapons at the beginning of the game, apart from a switchblade type of thing, or a metal sharpened ring. Because of that, it's very easy to die, and every time you die, it will send you all the way back to the start, and it will reset the game all over again. So let's try that again, and let's see if we can make a better job of it this time. Let's not collect any of the health. And now we can collect that health by pressing the H key. We can consume it, and some of these items I can't pick up. So this is another ninja game, so let's move on. And we get some ammo clips and through this door is a guy that we need to speak to. A small to. world, word travels fast. 
I hear you just removed some obstacles from your path. Nice work. Are you interested in some more lucrative projects? Good. Some uh, friends of mine need someone silenced. I'll guarantee 50 gold and it's good. Remember. Let's just accept the mission and get a new weapon. And there is an automatic gun here waiting to destroy us. Let's see if we can hit that. And then run around the corner where we're supposed to be taking on a mission. Yet again, I haven't got anywhere in this game and this isn't quite the first time I've played it but you can see I'm wading into the action and just like most Doom games you can wade on in their all guns blazing and I will usually get you killed. So that is that game, it sends you all the way back to the start again so being a ninja, strife it's called and so if you want to be a ninja Quit. But you can't. So if you want to be a ninja, maybe there's two games with Shadow Warrior, which is just insane, and Strife as well. So let's move on to Ami Spear. What could this be? Yes, it's another Wolfenstein hack. Well, we get to move around using the mouse once again, a Wolfenstein environment and you can use the keyboard for any of these games but the mouse is pretty quick so this being Wolfenstein it should be very familiar but this being a hack if you played Wolf before then maybe this is brand new to you Certainly brand new to me at the moment and I'm got a clue what I'm supposed to be doing and I can't get through there. So let's move back to that main hall. Is that a secret? No it isn't. And sometimes it's worth pressing on all of these doors in case you find a secret room. And usually the secret rooms are near the start of the game. So if you press all of the secret areas it might reveal something interesting. So let's look around these corners. Let's see what we can find, and it's yes another row of identical doors, which is a very staple of this type of game. You can see there he is, Rash Chancellor Hitler, and yes this borrows very heavily from Wolfenstein, maybe it was an officially released hack or a patch of the game that you can run Spear of Destiny on the Amiga. So that's Ami Spear and guess what Ami Wolf is? Yes, Ami Wolf is Ami Wolfenstein. So you can play this game, it runs for, well more quickly than the original version with our current setup, but you can see it's not too fast to play. See if we can find some secrets and in here, well, we've managed to find a better gun. And yes again, I'm instantly lost in the game and I'm not sure whether it has a map function, but if it does, I'm not using it. So that's Castle Wolfenstein, it appears overkill that we're using RCG and PPC to play this thing, but as you can see there are no slowdowns and it works immaculately just as it did on the PC. Let's move on to another candidate, this is 1940X.
see, even in the demo, that 1940X is a 1942, 43, 44, 45 game, and we can press that fire button, and I can only get this thing to move around on the keyboard at the moment, but the fire button works, and every time you collect a red star, it will speed up our firepower. And we also have four bombs as well, which if you're using the mouse control, you can activate those with the right mouse button. You can see I've activated the second player, but I can't actually use those weapons unless I press the joystick button, which I'm doing at the moment, and I can't press both of those at the same time. The advantage of having two players is they can definitely soak up the action and also trigger those smart bombs as well which blows things up but with this game if the second player dies unfortunately both players die and that means that you can't rely on the second player unless you've got a live human player to play with and if I hold both of the mouse button and the joystick buttons down I can cheat and use the second player. Unfortunately, this is just a demo and I've never got that far with it, but as soon as I do get far with it, it seems to end and say game over. So this is what could have been on our Amiga, and I've no idea whether this is a full game or not. Let's bring the second player back in again, and let's see if we can get a bit further. <laughs> And unfortunately it seems to have quit us out, there is more to the level than that, but it is I think just a demo, so that's what we could have got, that's fantastic, that's RTG, PPC, and what's this, Wesnoth. This is another high graphic, high detailed adventure game where we can basically defend our castle and yes it does take a long time to load even though it is loading at this point we can still select all the other menu options which is a bit weird but eventually it will go in. Okay, so our first basic training skill is to hire a guy, so let's recruit, we've got an elvish fighter, so excellent, we've got the elvish fighter, and every time you complete something you have to say, now what do I do? Well you have to make him walk around now, and then you can complete that by clicking the end turn button, so okay that, end turn, and it says congratulations you've just ended your turn. And so this idiotic training mode really does take itself too lightly, it should have at least been a bit more than this. Now I've got a fighter, I can move him around. So you can see that this is another high res game where we're supposed to recruit guys, and it reminds me of the arcade game, I can't remember what it was called, I think it was called Rampart, where we're supposed to get guys in the Rampart and they will be attacked by ships. Um, this isn't like that, but we will get attacked by guys, so let's see if we can get a bit further. absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, but what I do know is if I use melee weapons against this guy it takes forever, so you're better using archery skills and that drains his energy a lot faster. And 
and unfortunately I didn't read that whenever it said, I think it said move into town and that guy can even attack our buildings and destroy our town no idea whether you're supposed to build up your defences and all that kind of thing maybe this is another Doom 2 type of game only set in a medieval area but I think it's just a basic hack and slash area where you're supposed to level up all these guys and save your be people from getting slaughtered you can see the frame rate as well going up and down going down from maybe 60 all the way up to 100 frames per second. But that's it for part one. These are incredible power PC games, most of which were released on the PC, and they now run natively on the Amiga. And you might think that's weird, but if you reprogram the registers and the CPU to a different CPU, then it's surprising the graphics can be reused, the sounds can be reused, and this thing can play PNGs and MP3s and all the rest of it, so no problem. So I hope to see you again in the second part of me playing all these RTG retargetable graphics and PPC power processor and there will be even more games on the next part so I hope you can stay tuned in for that and I hope you've enjoyed the games that I've been playing so far. Thank you.